What is going on guys? I am Crimson Seabad and today we are here with a very unusual Oris Wi-Fi battle. Uh, this is going to be an Ubers battle. This was a best two out of three and I'm actually, I'm actually uploading two videos or two battles into one video um, just because they were kind of short. They were both pretty uh, pretty quick Ubers battles. Today I'm battling a follower on Twitter, his IGN is Scorpion. His, the link to his Twitter will be down in the, down in the description below. Um, let's go over the teams. I am bringing the uh, the Smogon Frog, aka Greninja. I am bringing the Mega Mawile. I am bringing Primal Groudon. I am bringing Speed Deoxys. I am bringing Lugia, and I am bringing the Primal Kyogre. Uh, my opponent Scorpion is bringing both Primal Groudon and Kyogre. He is bringing the Reshiram. He is bringing the uh, I believe that's Curum. He has the Vettel, and he has the Mega Rayquaza. So let's hop right into this battle. Uh, be sure if you ever want a chance to battle me, follow me on Twitter. The, my link will be in the description below as well. It's where I normally find all of my uh, all of my battles. People find me for battles, other stuff like that. So he opens up with the Greninja, or he opens up the Rayquaza. I open up with the Greninja, and he is going to go for. Uh, well, we see the airlock happen. He's going to go for the Mega Evolve right now. He is going to Mega Evolve Mega Rayquazas on the field, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that thing is just pure power. Look at that thing. So there that is, we see the Delta Stream go off. That protects flying types if you're not that far in the game to know that, Delta Stream protects that. I am gonna go for a stab ice beam with this Protean. The mysterious Air Current weakened it. It is four times effective, it is six, like it's just, there's no way that thing was living. So down goes Mega Rayquaza, o code by a Greninja. That's why this thing got moved to Uber, ladies and gentlemen. It one-shots Mega Rayquaza. Uh, out comes Vettel, which is a dark flying type. So you see the dark aura go off. I am just going to go for another Ice Beam. It's Stab, it's super effective. Why not go for it? And we see the Vettel goes down to the Ice Beam. Uh, Greninja's now 2-0 in the lead right now for the sweep. He sends out the Kyogre. Now we see Kyogre here. Look at this Primal Evolution. First Primal of the, uh, of the channel right here, ladies and gentlemen. Primal Kyogre right there. Look at it. Just look at it. Primordial C kicks in, uh, weakening every, or not weakening, canceling out any fire type moves. I'm just going to switch right out. In order to take control of his weather, I'm going to go into Primal Groudon. I'm going to get that, uh, what is it, the Desolate Land ability off over his Primordial C now that I'm already on the field. Ooh, both Primals right here. Primal Groudon versus Primal Kyogre. Um, yeah, I mean, just look at it. Look at shiny Primal Groudon. That's so beautiful. Black and gold. It's absolutely beautiful. Sunlight turns extremely harsh. Goes for the origin pulse. Evaporates in the harsh sunlight. He's getting out of Kyogre. He does not want to deal with this. So he's going to go out into his own primal Groudon. We see right here. We've gotten three primals off in a row right now. So there's his primal Groudon. There's regular primal Groudon. Not shiny. It's not shiny primal Groudon. Looks red and gold. It's alright. Uh, I'm going to go for a Stab Earthquake. That is super effective. It is Ground Fire. Stab Ground Fire. Groudon is going to live by the skin of its teeth. I'm just going to go for a Fire Punch straight up. I mean, I know it's resisted, but it's Stab. And he wasn't going to live that much anyway, especially in the harsh sunlight. So down goes his Primal Groudon. Um, he is going to go out into Zekrom at this point. That's who I was looking for, Zekrom. I don't know what I called it earlier, but we see Zekrom. Uh, black and white were okay in my opinion. I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. It is super effective against it considering it's Dragon Electric. Uh, he's going to go for the Fusion Bolt, and it doesn't affect me. I don't know if he was anticipating a switch there or whatnot, but either way, Fusion Bolt doesn't affect me. I go for a Stab Fire Punch right here in the sun. Not very effective. Doesn't matter. Was not living in that range. Down goes the Zekrom. He is now going to go on to the Reshiram. That's who I. That's who that is. Okay. Black and White Legendaries, I kind of sped through Black and White. I just, you know, I played him. I didn't really, you know, Gen 5. What are you going to do? I'm going to go for an Earthquake here, uh, just to see what kind of damage I can get off on it. It is super effective still. It is a crit. Did the crit matter? I don't know. We're still sweeping right now. Just hand my Uber's team a broom real quick. Goes out, back out into the Kyogre. He's going to get the Primordial C up again. Primordial C is going to overturn my Desolate Lance, and I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm just going to switch out, though. I'm just going to switch it. I'm going to go into my own Primal Kyogre, just to take advantage of it. There we see Shiny Primal Kyogre, who we're about to see. There's Shiny Kyogre. Shiny Primal Kyogre, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen it again, another beautiful color scheme in my opinion. Shiny Primal Kyogre gets that black and yellow. Looks black and yellow to me, I don't know. He's going to go for the Origin Pulse. He misses the Origin Pulse. I am going to go for the Thunder straight up. Ooh, 
almost. I get the paralyze on him. I paralyze him with the thunder. He goes for the origin pulse this time. Uh, he's gonna hit that origin pulse. It is resisted, but it is in the rain, so let's see how much it does. It does about 25%, not bad. I'm gonna go for a thunder again since I am in the rain. I do outspeed because of the paralyze. Because he is paralyzed, I should say. And then down goes his Kyogre. So that was the first match, and honestly, I wasn't really too content with that. So uh, I talked with him, and he asked for a 2 out of 3 battle. So we see this next battle. I'm bringing the exact same team. I'm bringing the Groudon. I'm bringing the Mega Mawile. Uh, same team as last time. I don't need to go over it. This time, however, he's bringing Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, Mega Mewtwo, uh, that's Xerneas and Heatran. So, first thing I see is that I'm gonna keep Groudon around to land some stone edges on those three birds. That's the first thing I see, is you know what? Groudon is gonna be so key in this game. So let's go on ahead and roll on into this. Um, I'm assuming he opens up with, uh, when we start off, I'm assuming he opens up with Heatran. Um, I, so I'm just gonna lead off with Groudon, get that sun up, get that earthquake up. I mean, three birds, a Heatran, I'm just gonna run shop with Groudon. He does go in with the Heatran. Um, we will see. Look how powerful that is. There's uh, Primal Evolution. Get back to that good old black and gold color scheme. Mmm. God, that's beautiful. There needs to be more Primals, in my opinion. Maybe Gen 7. I don't know. Desolate Land kicks in. There's not much he can do to me unless he switches out. He doesn't end up switching out. I'm going to go for an Earthquake. That's a dead Heatran, however way you put it. How, whatever way you put it. Should have been holding the Air Balloon, in my opinion. Would have lived to hit. Get the Stealth Rex up. But... My opinion, not his. Goes on to the Xerneas. I don't know what Xerneas really wants to do to me, but I am. We see the Fairy Aura kick in, but I am just going to go for another Earthquake again. See how I, see how this thing takes it. Takes it really well. Goes for a Dazzling Gleam. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good on his part. Uh, it doesn't do too much, though. I am resistant to that. I'm going to go straight up for a Stone Edge. He avoids it. Goes for the Moon Blast this time, not the Dazzling Gleam. I don't know why he didn't go for the Moon Blast the first time around. But we see Moon Blast brings me down to a little under half. I am just going to go for an Earthquake again, 100% uh, accuracy. Not going to miss this. Not going to miss it. Down goes Xerneas to my Earthquake again. Groudon's just going to start knock, racking, up the, uh, racking up the kills here. Goes out into the Articuno. Articuno's pressure kicks in. Uh, Stone Edge. That's uh, double super effective. So down goes Articuno to the Groudon. Here's where Stone Edge just starts running shop. We're 3-0 right now with Primal Groudon. Half my team hasn't even hit the field yet. Goes out into the Moltres this time. Shiny Moltres looks really cool, if you ask me. Uh, if you don't ask me, then don't ask for my opinion, but I think Shiny Moltres looks really cool. Go for a Stone Edge again. Uh, double super effective. Down goes the Moltres. We are now just clean in house with Primal Groudon. Goes out into Zabdos now. I guess he's just feeding off these birds. I don't know. Um, Zabdos' pressure kicks in, as always. I'm going to go for a Stone Edge. See what I can do on this thing. It is super effective on this. Down goes Zabdos. We are now at... Took down three birds. Took down Heatran. Took down Xerneas. We're 5-0 right now with Groudon. So now Mewtwo finally comes in. Um, Mewtwo's going to be a little bit of a problem. Because I want to get some more time with my other Pokemon. You know, I don't... Uh, some people are into that. I want to show. I want to show, showcase some of my other Pokemon. I'm going to go out into Black Widow, the Mega Mawile. Uh, I've never used Mega Mawile. I just, I, he, I re was requested an Uber's battle. I had a Mawile on my team, and I said, you know what, Let, let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can do with this. So he Mega Evolves into Fetus Mewtwo, aka Mewtwo Y. He's gonna go for the Aura Sphere. That's gonna hurt. That's, uh, that's super effective on me. That is super effective. I did not want to take that. So I am gonna Mega Evolve, and predicting he's going for, um, another Aura Sphere, I'm gonna try and get a Sucker Punch off. But it fails, because he goes for the recover, but he's got full HP, so I don't know what he thought. I'm going to switch out, because I don't want to take an orange sphere, just on the off case that uh, Sucker Crunch can't kill it. So I'm going to go on to Lugia this time around. Shiny Lugia's got the red fins. He's going to go for the Aura Sphere. Lugia's going to eat that up. Just absolutely eat that up. Look at it. It's a beautiful bird. It does three HP. It does three. Look at this. Ubers, and it only did three. It's ridiculous. Goes for the Psychic. Not very effective. I'm going to go for the Toxic just to lower this thing's special attack. I'm going to have some fun really quick, kind of showcase off some of my Pokemon, see what I can do to it. Mewtwo gets badly poisoned, the special attack gets half, that's no bueno. You don't want to Mega, you don't want to Mega Fetus Mewtwo on the field. And it has no special attack, so it goes for an Aura Sphere again. He just loves Aura Sphere. Oh, that time it did 7, maybe the first time it got low rolled. I'm going to go for an Ice Beam right here. 
and it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't do much, but you know, it is what it is. Get the poison off. There's uh, there's more damage on him. I'm going to switch out of Lugia here. Like I said, still just trying to showcase some of this stuff. I'm going to go out into Deoxys. Um, I don't really know what he wants to do to me right now. Shiny Deoxys looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that yellow, that bright yellow. He goes for an Aura Sphere again. Uh, Aura Sphere is an okay move, I guess, to run on a Mewtwo. I don't really know what it's going to do. Um, we do see the uh, the eject button on my Deoxys to kind of get some switch initiative. I don't need switch initiative at this point. Uh, but I am going to go out into the Greninja here. See more toxic damage go off onto the Mewtwo. And at this point, it's pretty much just... It's just game. I'm just going to go for a U-turn. Um, just kind of get this battle over with. Get my first... This is my first little encounter in Ubers, so I kind of wanted to... Uh, especially with all this, I wanted to showcase it off, see what I can do. Um, it definitely was interesting. Uh, I wish I would have had a more diverse team or a diverse selection, but uh, my team still ended up doing good. So, um, if you made it this far, please make sure to uh, poke that like button for me. I'm shooting for 10 likes on all of my Oris Wi-Fi battles. Um, earlier today, we did have a battle go up that was a live recording. If you haven't checked that out, please check that out. Tell me what you like. Tell me if you like the live Wi-Fi battles. Tell me if you like the post-commentary battles. Um, either way, guys, I am Crimson Seabad, and I will talk to you guys soon. Later!